Hey guys, Mr. Three here, and on this beautiful day, we're gonna go fix this post light. So, looking at the issue, we possibly have some type of little critter that chewed the wire, and we've gotta fix it. So, some supplies I have here, some PVC conduit pipe, uh, 14 gauge wire, the PVC sealant, I have my little miter box there to cut the piping. I don't have the special tool there, and off camera, I do have some wire connectors. So, let's get this thing started. So we gotta first dig our trench. So our new trench is gonna start from this light post over here and go all the way up to the house. I'm gonna try to dig the existing wire, but I may not find it depending uh, which route they went. And the power company would not show where to start the line. So here's the initial trench dug. This one's at least a foot in depth, but I'm gonna continue digging and tear out more lawn. And here's how it looks so far. I still gotta go a little deeper, but pull off the grass and just going a little more. And I found the uh, existing wire. So they actually just had it about four inches from the ground, which is uh, not really that good, as you can see, and it was unprotected. So I'm going to try to do a better job than the constructors that initially put this. Which you can see, <laughs> they just connected two pieces of wire with duct tape over here, which could have been a water issue. But I actually did also find the other corporate, which a critter did bite into the wire, but I didn't find a hole. But that's where it also shorted. So... There's our big problem. Show you guys once more the whole trench layout, starting from the house and all the way back to the lamppost. That was some fun digging without a machine, where I am the machine. But anyway, so now let's get that top off and expose the wires. So I got the light fixture off. I'm gonna get some duct tape here and attach my new wire and pull it through with the existing so then it would be a little easier feeding through that little hole at the bottom. So I decided to go uh, take a little break and eat some dinner and watch a little TV show and Guess what? It got dark pretty quick. So, got to do a little night edition here of laying down some pipe. After the wire was fed through the conduit pipe in there, I then got to sealing it with that PVC cement. So as you can see, I had everything a little separated and I could just easily put the pieces together, just like a puzzle. And there's that cement again. And really this stuff works quick. You just put it on and once you just push the two pieces together, it's actually pretty tough to pull apart. And I ran it all the way up to the house as you just saw the cat jump over there. But yeah, that's how it looks right now and I think I'm gonna call it a night here. It's getting a little chilly. But I'll just show you guys once more what we've done. In the trench we go. So it's the next day. You see some daylight here, and I'm just showing you guys the wires. I uh, stripped our cable and got the three wires showing. Yes, this one does have a ground, which you should. And I'm just showing that you should put some type of waterproof gasket out there to keep things sealed up. And that's how it looks. I did sand the tips of the wires there to make a better connection. And there are the wire connectors. These have that dielectric grease inside, so it makes a better connection, and it's also waterproof. Or that's what they claim. Twisted them, got them inside the foundation there. Now we just have to tighten it up with those screws, and that'll be ready to go. So last thing is just get the cap right on there. So, I'm just putting some new soil. I 
discarded the clay that was originally in there. So putting some topsoil and garden soil mix over there and just filling everything up. And next, just put back the sod that you cut out. And this is how you do it, really it's simple. You just put it back in and press down. Later on, water it. But right now we were actually putting some uh, new seed in so which you can see the overseeder there, or thatcher. Make this lawn look beautiful again. And just getting the last touches up to there. few more little hops make sure everything's down pretty good right and you can barely tell it's over there don't worry those flags they, they the electric company and gas lines telephone left I just stuck them there just to keep a guide but that's how it looks you can barely tell it's there beautiful and yes you can see the yard has that thatch right there all right, so now strip the wires from the lamp post and install the light fixture. So let's see the moment we've been waiting for. Does it work? Three, two, one, yep. There you go, we can see we have power, the light turns on, and for sure I know this is waterproof now. <laughs> Screw the cap on, final results, and I'll show you guys uh, how it looks in the night, which it's pretty blinding there. It does a good job lighting up. I'm happy. Parents are happy since it's theirs. And it was a fun little project to do during this time of the pandemic. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. So now I can sleep with a little extra light out there. Good night.